I love One Piece. It is one of my favorite stories ever and truly a masterpiece. But I hate, and I mean hate, the anime. This thing is the biggest piece of garbage ever made. I wish I could hit a button that would delete it forever because seeing people try to get into One Piece through the anime and not enjoying it makes me so sad. It does such a disservice to the amazing story of One Piece that I would legitimately call it one of the worst anime adaptations I have ever seen. I am so grateful that Studio Wit is remaking it because it really is necessary. Now you might be asking, what makes it so bad? Lots of people watch it. I see crazy clips of it on my timeline every week. <sighs> I'm gonna get into all of it, but there is one huge glaring issue that I would say is the main thing contributing to the anime being god awful. And that one thing is of course, the pacing. Now everyone knows that One Piece's pacing is an issue. I'm definitely not threading on any new ground here, but the pacing of One Piece is genuinely awful. It plagues every single shot frame and clip in every episode. To those that don't know, most anime adapt around 2-3 to three manga chapters per episode, depending on the content of those chapters. A manga chapter being about 16 pages. So in total, this is about 32-48 to 48 pages per episode. This is the case for basically every anime out there, like Attack on Titan, Naruto, Jujutsu Kaisen, and it works great. It gives those 20 minutes enough content to go through. But One Piece does the most insane thing imaginable and adapts one chapter at most per episode and a lot of times it's even worse like half a chapter or three-fourths of a chapter which by the way half a chapter is eight pages think about how quickly you'd be able to read through eight pages it would take like 15 minutes at most to read through 16 pages probably even less if it's just action so eight pages would take two and a half minutes to read but not in the anime there you have to sit there and watch it for 20 minutes. Now, how do you manage to make those 8 to 16 pages enjoyable in 20 minutes? Well, you don't. They use every trick they can to stretch the episodes as long as humanly possible. Every attack takes 20 seconds to pull off, every single speech bubble gets its own like 30 second segment in the episode. Heck, a lot of times we just get random shots of an empty wall or the floor just to make the episode as long as they can. A good example of this is this scene of Sabo. This is one of my favorite moments in One Piece when Sabo finds out it takes up three pages and is an incredibly emotional moment, especially if you like Sabo. So I went ahead and checked how this three page segment was played out in the anime and uh, man. Okay, so first Sabo hears the name Ace and then we have the scene play out somewhat like normal with a lot of shots of Sabo just doing nothing. He then picks up the newspaper and is very shocked. He keeps looking at it for, you know, um, a while. And then we get some, some flashback sequences and, and then he's looking at it again and a, a more more flashback getting a little bit close. Okay, more flashback, all right. Okay, this is this is kind of too close. Like what? Man, these close-ups go crazy. I don't know if he's gonna, you know, say the line soon. More crying and even more flashback. All right, dope. And we're back to crying at the newspaper again. All right, this is, at this point, like he's been crying here for like two minutes how has nobody noticed this oh and even more flashbacks great and oh okay we finally have no no i think we're back to where we were yeah we're we're, <laughs> we're still at this jesus christ all right a lot a lot more screaming um i think it i think it finally might be over though soon uh he's gonna fall eventually i think wow this is um this is definitely something. And there we go. He finally said the line. Oh, wait, we're back to more flashbacks again. Okay. And now he's woken up and the scene is over. They managed to make three pages, basically two pages, into five minutes. How could anyone enjoy this scene? And it's not even like I typically prefer manga to anime. I don't. 99% of the time, I will pick the anime because I like watching anime more. There are only very rare and specific instances where I've picked the manga and this is one of them. Oh, but the new episodes are really good. Shut the hell up. The new episodes are still ass. Sure, the animation looks pretty good, but like who cares when everything still moves in slow motion? I had seen brief clips of Law vs. Blackbeard before I got to that part in the manga, and I was like, damn, this looks pretty good. So after reading the fight in the manga, which I really enjoyed, I went to the anime to check, and not surprisingly, I was very disappointed. Every attack is so damn slow, like, I legit had to fast forward because it took so long. Oh, but uh, the pacing isn't so bad 
if you just watch One Piece, shut the hell up. One Piece does not do justice to the manga at all. The issue with the One Piece anime is that the pacing doesn't just affect the episodes as a whole, it affects every single frame. They can cut out fluff, but not make animations shorter. Like look at these pages right here. At the top left, we can see a single panel where Law does an attack, kind of out of nowhere. This takes five seconds to read. And then you watch it in the anime and you get this. Okay, so it starts off with Law doing rear room, which looked like this in the manga, but I guess they made it into this like whole sequence, all right? And then we're uh, just, okay, yeah, waiting for it to, to hit. Not quite as swift as in the manga, but okay, I'll, I'll wait. He's doing the amputate, okay? Um, all right, the slice is happening any minute now. All right, okay, like a slow-mo of the slice. Okay, there we go. And look at how long that took. Now, this isn't as bad as the Sabo example, especially because the animation is actually good. But do you see how the attack that was almost like a surprise attack completely out of nowhere in the manga is now perceived in a completely different way in the anime? This is how it is for most things in One Piece. I think One Piece is a really cool idea and I really admire the team behind it because they really do put in an effort. But when the material they have to work with is this bad it's like basically impossible to make it good the anime episodes are already finished products that have structures in place so when you take all of them and kind of chop them up you get something that isn't too slow pacing or too fast pacing but you get this very weird pacing and not just with the animation the music too now imagine the scene with law and blackbeard but like even slower and with way worse animation which is the case with every scene in the entire show so let's pick another scene from what's considered to be the good part of the anime and see how long this one and a half page took to happen here we have about two pages where luffy is supposed to jump in and sumo slap they clash very briefly and then they are about to fall they almost fall for a couple of panels and then they're back on their feet that is all that is supposed to happen so let's see how it actually goes in the anime luffy he jumped in that was like a relatively quick animation and then he's supposed to do the gungam or sumo slap we're clashing yep this is uh oh okay we got some reaction shots too all right even more reaction shots oh the the building shaking okay okay the floor oh yo this is spicy <laughs> and they're back on their feet Wow. This is how they stretched out the episodes, by making everything unbearably slow and then adding stuff that wasn't there in the first place. You can give me the best animation in the world, but if the pacing sucks this much, I legit don't care. And even if these episodes with good animation were well paced, it would only be like the last 100 episodes at best. 100 episodes out of 1150. You would have to get to 1000 episodes to get to the part that gets good. It's no wonder One Piece's reputation is so bad when people keep recommending the anime. I genuinely believe that if One Piece's anime was seasonal since the beginning and was a perfectly fine adaptation, its reputation would be basically perfect. It would not get clowned on or get any hate. It would be unanimously loved as something like Steinscape or Attack on Titan. I have tried to watch it on multiple occasions via the anime and I'm just gonna be real, man. It really wasn't doing it for me, bro. It just wasn't hitting like that, bro. Like, I don't know, it just it just didn't grab me. Now, I started reading it, uh, and I will say this, okay? Before we continue, I will say this. Reading One Piece is a far superior way to enjoy this, uh, this manga or anime or whatever. Usopp is a character that I think if I were an anime watcher, I would hate. In the manga though, I am kind of a Usopp fan so far. I thought it was always interesting when One Piece fans would criticize other anime for having annoying characters like, you know, Zenitsu or like um, Asta or whatever the fuck. But I'm like, bro, have you ever listened to an anime scene that featured Usopp and Luffy, like I would dead boo myself right now. Like, I don't know, in the anime, dumb dudes was annoying as hell to me. In the manga though, I think 
I like Usopp. I'm gonna be honest. I like Usopp. I'm a I'm I'm a bit of a Usopp fan, if you will. Oh, but uh, One Piece has no fillers. Shut up. Honestly, what's even the issue with fillers? Like it's basically the same thing as a seasonal anime. You get new episodes, then a little bit of break, then more episodes, and then it repeats. Like no one is forcing you to watch the fillers. Oh, but anime that air every week with filler episodes don't look as good as seasonal anime because they use up all the budget on the filler episodes. What is this then? Tell me, please, what is this? This is an anime that has been airing every week for the last 20 years with world-class animation. I promise you that filler is not the issue. Why is it even so important for the anime to be caught up to the manga anyway? If you want to be caught up to the manga so bad, then you could just, you know, read the manga. Read, nigga, read! I swear, people who watch the anime don't even like it. Yeah, because it sucks. It's so boring. It's so boring. Like, if I didn't get into the One Piece card game, I probably still wouldn't have bothered finishing Fishman Island. Even with One Piece, it's just bad. Just read the manga. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I've already committed to catching up on anime only. Look at this poor man who has made a satanic pact with the anime, forcing him to finish it. Oh, but the first half of the anime is good. Shut the fuck up. The first part of the anime is still ass. They can't even do the first episode right. One Piece is supposed to start with Luffy as a little ass kid eating the gum gum fruit and getting Shanks' hat. This first chapter is absolutely perfect and it has everything that I love about One Piece. A great introduction to the series. And how does the anime start? It just starts with grown up Luffy in his boat. <laughs> This thing is trash! It isn't before episode 4 when we finally get his backstory, but like, why? It also just adds a bunch of random bullshit that wasn't in the manga and sometimes just changes things completely. Nami shows up 2 minutes into the first episode and keeps showing up, even though she's not supposed to show up until episode 5. And they don't even meet in the same way they do in the manga. They keep doing this shit for a pretty long time in the beginning of the anime. For example, Seth, who had one of the coldest moments of all time when he got stranded with Sanji on the island, after giving all the food to Sanji, he chops off his own leg and eats it to survive. In the anime, <laughs> and this is so dumb, he gets his leg stuck when he's trying to save Sanji, so he cuts it off to get loose and save him. Then he just survives not eating for 85 days. Literally, why did they change this? It's not even like you see him eating the leg in the manga. It happens off screen. The only way we find out about it is because Seth tells us. Like, was that really necessary to censor? There is so much annoying censorship for stuff that like, isn't even that bad. They don't even freaking show Luffy stabbing himself under the eye to impress Shanks from chapter 1. You know like Luffy's iconic scar that is an integral part of his backstory? If you're anime only, Luffy will have this scar for a thousand episodes without you ever finding out why. Oh wait, they, they do actually show it in um episode 878, which is an episode that most people are gonna skip anyway because it's mostly just a recap. And the pacing for these episodes are still bad. It's not as bad, but it's still far from good. And the animation and art of these episodes just aren't very good. Like one of the best parts of the manga is the art. There are so many iconic panels that live rent free in my head, but they all look so weak in the anime. The iconic Endel panel looks like trash in the anime compared to the manga, and the specials don't count. And about half the anime has this god awful ugly ass art style coupled with the worst animation you've ever seen that makes it completely unwatchable. Oh, One Piece doesn't get good before episode- Shut the hell up. One Piece is good from chapter one and I will die on this hill. And it stays really good throughout the entire show. Out of all the 700 plus episodes of One Piece I have watched, there is only one singular episode I can say I actually actually enjoyed and that is episode 1015. This episode is the only episode of One Piece I have seen that has good pace. And this, coupled with some of the best animation, art, and direction I've ever seen, makes this a really good episode. It truly feels like a love letter to the series. 
But that's it. All the other ones suck. And look, it's not like the manga is perfect. The second half of One Piece has some not so great paneling, like way too much information and content is put onto the pages. Sometimes I flip a page and I just get assaulted with text and clutter that really isn't very motivating. But it's honestly not even that bad. Like, yeah, it's not great, but I wouldn't say it's bad. And most of the manga has pretty good paneling anyway. I would choose this a million times before choosing this absolute crime against humanity that is the One Piece anime.